Sedish is here. Sedish, you are awesome! Momo is here, Famoa is here, and Islam Nazam is here. Because can you see comments? Now I can see comments. And I'm just waiting for my guest. I just hope she comes soon. You look good, Vakas. Thank you. Uh, I mean, the guest which is coming, she speaks Spanish and she doesn't even understand English properly. So I'll be talking at a very slow pace. But she is a wonderful lady. She is awesome. And I'm just waiting for her. Just let me text her. And she is here, so we will be just inviting her right away. And Christina declined. That's great. Let me invite her again. And she'll be joining us in a moment. And there she is. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Christina. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I am good. What's going on? <laughs> I'm here at home <laughs> waiting for your request. So firstly, it's so good to see you. You look wonderful. And people were actually waiting for you because they wanted to see someone. <laughs> And they wanted to know that everyone is fine there. They are living their lives on yeah. a regular basis. <laughs> yeah. Tomorrow we are allowed to go out just for a walk, one hour. So that will be really good. So now you are allowed to go inside. Oh, sorry, outside. Yeah, tomorrow we can go for a walk for one hour with the mm. person we live with and to go, like, do a sports. But just one hour. Oh, just one hour. So there's a, there's a time limit, actually. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, that is actually good. Christina, I have a lot of questions for you. Some are fun yeah. questions, <laughs> are serious questions. And you can answer the serious questions in a fun way if you want. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so first thing, <laughs> yeah. how is it there? Sorry? How is Robert? How is my... I can't hear you properly. How is Robert? Ah, he's good. He's doing now some sports and he joined okay. right now. <laughs> okay, just a second. Let me just turn off the fan. Yeah. Now that will be much... I'll be much audible. Am I audible to you yeah. now? Yeah. That's good. So, we'll start with the, okay, it's up to you. Should we start with the serious questions or uh, fun questions? Whatever you prefer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, start with the fun questions. Are you ready? Okay. Yeah. Okay, Christina. How often is it healthy to cry? I think there is no limit time. You can cry whenever you feel you have to do it. And it's good to okay. do sometimes. <laughs> How are you feeling today? I'm a little bit nervous because I'm a shy person. And I don't, I have never done a live chat. So yeah, I'm <laughs> really nervous. <laughs> and don't be because people here love you. And you are doing so good <laughs> till now. So, what does Robert call you? Uh, we have like a word in Spain, which means in English love, and in Spanish okay. is amor. Amor, yes. yes. <laughs> what do you miss the most about living in Spain full time? Uh, I really miss the weather, the food, and my people. Okay. Uh, what is your best and least favorite color to wear? My favorite color, if I have to choose only one, I will choose black. 
and the least I think it's brown. Okay. Black is I don't know why everyone loves black. <laughs> yeah, I think it suits everyone. Yeah, it suits everyone. Everyone looks good in black. Yeah. <laughs> uh what do you love most about living in Ireland? I love um like living with another culture which I think it was interesting to learn about them. Well, that is good. Who is your style icon? Uh, I love one uh, journalist, which is from Spain, and she is called uh, Sara Carbonero, and I really love her style. Okay, uh, you have to text me that name. I will stalk her. Yeah. <laughs> which trend you will never get tired of? Denim. <laughs> Denim. Uh, what is yeah. your favorite memory from childhood? Uh, I remember uh, when I went with my friends to like little trips that we made we made with the school. I really I have a really good memory about it. Okay. What is your schedule these days? In the morning I'm doing online classes and in the afternoon I try to do some sport and also work with my assignments from okay. a school well, from university. Right. Other than family, who do you call for advice? Eh, I think my boyfriend and my closest friends. Yeah. Okay. What is the most romantic thing Robert has done for you? <laughs> eh, he is really a romantic boy and he made a okay. lot of things, but one I really remember is when he came one special day for us. He came to the university by surprise and he prepared the dinner and everything. And I really appreciate that from him. Okay, that is actually very <laughs> sweet. There you are good. <laughs> what is that thing that you love to do when you are with Robert? Um, I love going with him to restaurants because we love eating good food and yeah. We have the same. What is your favorite restaurant in Spain? Oh, I can't decide one, but <laughs> I don't know. I don't know one. It's for oh, me really difficult. You can name two restaurants if you, if you like. There is one here near where close where I live, which is okay. called. Uh, what is the name? <laughs> I don't remember now, but. Uh, yeah, it's in Gambia, which is the town uh, really close to my where I live, and they okay. made really good paellas. And yeah, I don't remember oh, the name okay. now. <laughs> yeah, that's, maybe that's my favorite. Food. Yeah, he's cooking all this quarantine time. <laughs> and what is the signature dish that he cooks? What is what? Sorry. What is the special dish that he cooks for you? Mm, he's doing quite good uh, pasta, like the the restaurants go no do. Pasta. <laughs> yeah, you will have to come here and taste it. I will definitely come here. You guys can come here, and we can have pasta together, yeah. with all of us. <laughs> yeah. What is that thing? Uh, the emoji that you use the most? The red hair. What? The red heart. Red heart. I use that most. Yeah. <laughs> what is that thing you about your culture which you wish more people knew? I think the traditional food, not what people make. Like some people think they are doing paella, but they just yeah. do rice with things, and that's not the yeah. traditional one. So I think that one. Yeah, because I always thought that paella, when, he, when it comes to paella, it's like a lot of things in rice and it becomes paella. <laughs> yeah, but no. <laughs> Sorry. No. I should know more about Spanish culture. Uh, what is your favorite song that you are listening to these days? I don't have one song, 
that is my favorite, but I love one Spanish singer, which is okay. called Ithal, and okay. I love their songs. Right. And what is the best show on Netflix right now? I think Vikings is the best one for me. Vikings, okay. <laughs> Do you... Sorry? Do you cook? No. <laughs> What is your favorite dish? Mm, paella. Paella. I I wish <laughs> I could actually have actual paella from Spain. Yeah, you have to come here. Uh, what is your favorite sport? Mm, I don't do many sports. I will have a lot of paella. Yeah. <laughs> um I like dancing and I like going to the gym but I am not an expert. I just do it sometimes. I love dancing <laughs> but I don't know how to dance. <laughs> and which city are you living in right now? In Beirut. Okay, please repeat that. Yeah, Beirut. <laughs> Beirut. Okay. Yeah. Best late night spot to hang out in Beirut. I think uh, going to the beach in the front line is quite good. You can have there like a uh, I don't know go to a restaurant and then chill. But yeah. Yeah, it, it, it sounds so good. Yeah. I can actually imagine it. The beach, yeah. the restaurant, <laughs> the sea, I know it's good. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite place you visited? London. I really loved London when I went there. Yeah, it's actually good. Like I've never been there but I've seen the pictures. Your favorite restaurant yes. in Ireland? Eh, the Brazen Head. It's a traditional a uh, restaurant. Okay. And they do really good food. And what should I order when I go there? The beef and Guinness stew. It's really good. Okay. <laughs> Just pray that I go there first so that I can order that stuff. <laughs> so, if you were a superhero with superpower would you have? I think being able to fly will be my choice. Yeah, everybody wants to fly and everybody wants to be invisible somehow. You are <laughs> yeah. a fantastic book reader. Which book is your favorite till now? My favorite till now is The Purple Net which is related with crimes and it's really okay. good. <laughs> I do like crime books. Yeah, I love What them. What book are you reading these days? The The Blue Crimes <laughs> also related okay. with that. Okay, suggest so me a book to read. A uh, The Gypsy Bride. Deep sleep right. Okay, please text me that. I will forget. Yeah, okay. I will tell you later. <laughs> What is the best part about traveling? I think discovering new cultures and as I like a uh, taking photos, you can have like uh, mm, like more types of photos and landscapes. Yeah. You different backgrounds different clothes different cultures you can have a whole yeah. lot of diversity yeah <laughs> name your favorite tv show the money heist which we call la casa de papel <laughs> yeah everyone is everyone is loving money heist like i have yeah. friends here on this show and they were saying i asked them what's your favorite show and they were like money heist what show are you waiting for money heist what is yeah. your favorite song <laughs> bella ciao <laughs> yeah, that's true. Everyone is in love with that. We have yeah, everybody's loving that and I've just started it. I just hope that I get along well. So Yeah, you will. The next do. question is What is that rumor that you have heard about Pakistan? I've heard that you have a really good culture in terms of places to visit, the the landscape, the cities and also the food. It's not a rumor it's true our culture is <laughs> yeah. very diverse we have yeah. a lot of good cities and we have a lot of picturesque 
landscapes. We have spicy food. We have traditional food. We serve all kinds of food, and we have diverse. Yeah. People. Very loving. Yeah, me too. <laughs> well, you have to come to Pakistan. I am actually inviting you so that you can actually see the culture. You can see the places, the cities, the food, and you will love it. Trust me. You are you are welcome here with Thank Rubair. Thank you. Come with yeah. Rubair. Thank you so much. And do you know anyone from Pakistan beside me? No, I don't. You are lucky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know a good one. <laughs> uh, do you, Do you plan to visit Pakistan in near or far future? I was talking with my father, and I told him, as soon as you go, I have to go with you because I'm really interested on that culture and that country. <laughs> that would be great because as soon as Mr. Tennis comes here, because when he came, he brought me a lot of chocolates, and I just <laughs> left my chocolate downstairs. Okay, if anyone from my home is list uh, is watching this video, please bring me my chocolates upstairs. Namisha, just when you are starting to talk, just take out them so that I can actually eat in front of you. Because you know the thing that yeah. Mr. Tennis told me about those chocolates, that those chocolates they usually cherish it with. After the dinner and before hmm. Christmas time. Yeah, I think it's called turon. Yeah, turon. I have four turons. <laughs> yeah, they are really good. I have four turons and I have still not eaten them. I'm just waiting to spice, 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 spice. Oh, sorry, yeah, you, you can understand that. Okay, <laughs> so we are moving towards our serious questions. Not serious, but you can answer them the way you want. But there are the questions okay. which actually describe more about yourself. You can describe more about yourself. Okay. Yeah. My first question: At which age did you move out from your parents' home, and what you decided to do after that? I actually I didn't move uh, uh, out from my house because I live with them. But when I came here uh, for the like the quarantine. I I decided to stay with a uh, Robert my boyfriend so I am not out of my home but these days I do Oh yes yeah, so you you are you are in your home now you are in a new home Yeah kind of <laughs> So like was uh, Christina was that a difficult decision actually or like you just took it No because I haven't seen him for for a long time because I was in Ireland Living there, yeah. so yeah, it was. We are going to uh, go through the quarantine together. Okay, I have asked this question before, but still, I want to ask you once more because now there are lots of people who are listening to this. But I want to ask you that: How does this long distance relationship work for you and Robert? Because you are in yeah. Ireland, Robert is in Spain. So, how does it work? Yeah, I think before going to Ireland, we were thinking that it was going to be really hard because we see each other all the weeks. But then when I go there, we talk every day. We did a video call, so at least it wasn't that hard. And yeah, he helped me a lot. And yeah, it so was not that hard. Yeah. <laughs> that is actually great. So uh, my next question to you is. Are you doing something productive in this quarantine? How do you keep yourself busy? I try to do my best, but sometimes I'm a little bit lazy. But yeah, I try to like uh, follow the classes, online classes, which is not always easy to follow. And then I have to uh, to study because at the end of May I got three exams, so I will have to start <laughs> studying. <laughs> And it's actually very difficult to study when you are at home, and especially when yeah. you know that no one is actually looking at you, and you can just lie down all day and relax. <laughs> But yeah. still, you have to stay. Yeah. So, Christina, what is that thing that keeps you bright in the darkest of times? Hmm. I think positivity, and yeah, that's all. Uh, so thinking how that. How do you keep yourself positive? Mm, I think that I don't know how really to explain, but we all go through dark times, and we know that there is 
an exit that we will be better. So I think that thinking about other things, trying to, for example, go with friends and yeah, spending good time trying to do it. Well, that is actually good because, you know, I have been reading the comments and there are lots of your friends who are in this conversation. Yeah, I know. They're sending you I a know. lot of love. They're sending you a lot of love. They're, they're like, okay, sh we love her. Ireland, baby. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Christina, I, I want to ask you one, one last question. And that last question hmm. is, do you have any advice for the young generation all over the world? Uh, yeah, I think from my experience of going to live to another country, I would recommend people to live that experience if they can and not to worry too much about it because then at the end you, you enjoy everything, you know new people and yeah, there is one here that is uh, joining the conversation and yeah. yes, at the end you do new friends and new experiences so I would recommend doing new things don't be shy, don't be scared about it and just try it. And people are saying she sounds so sweet. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> because I think you have already made a lot of friends in Pakistan by just, you know, appearing in this session. <laughs> really? Because lots of people like in my friend list who are my friends, they are just yeah. talking praises about you and they're like, okay, she's so good. And I think <laughs> that's right. So much. You know, you are far away, but still you are making an impact here. So that is a very positive thing. Yeah, I agree. So thank you so much, Christina. Thank you so much for being <laughs> on this show. And you have given me, the, given me all the answers and they were so good. And I wish you could yeah. come some other day as well. We can talk about something else. I wish to. <laughs> yeah, and you also have to come to Spain. I need a lot of pay, yeah. yeah. That would be good. <laughs> yeah. But you are most welcome to come on my show as well because Thank I would you. love to talk about you, like about the different topics as well. So whenever you feel like you want to, you know, rant about something, you can come on my show. Okay. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure Thank for me. Thank you so me. much, Christina. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. <laughs>